What's up, Cave Dwellers? I'm Gabe, The Flash. I'm Darren, Buckethead. I'm Marty, a.k.a. Drill Pool. I'm Brandon. And I want to know if cheesecake is considered a cake or a pie. Or cheese. Tell us below. Um, <laughs> we're going to thank our sponsor now. It's RPGHiring.com. That's RPG. They're building people, changing lives. Make sure you check them out if you're interested in a new career or just in general. RPGHiring.com. And uh, I'm going to take my helmet off. You guys can take yours off. I'm sure it echoes and it makes my voice sound all weird. And I'm also not going to throw it because it Brandon took way too long printing it. Uh, what, like 70-something hours? Yeah. Which equates to like six weeks. You don't, yeah, you just, too long. I don't want to throw it. Uh, anyways, Gabe, what's today's topic? There and back again, a Gabe's Cave Tale. Which is uh, their road trip last week. And if you were, uh, if you watched the show with us about the table, Derek's table, uh, or my table that Derek made me, um, if you watched last week's episode, you'll know that they weren't on the show. They were on a road trip. And it was from here, Arkansas, to Denver, Colorado, going to Mile High Comics, and back, they hit up, how many different comic shops? 11. They hit up 11 different comic shops on the way there and back, which was something like 16 hours there and 16 hours back. Yeah, like... Long, you know, long road trip. They hit up a few other cool things. We'll talk about it on the show. Um, they saw an X-Wing fighter and a pod racer. Uh, went to a garden of some sort, and I'll let them talk about it at some point here. Um, but since Brandon and I were not on the road trip, we were here. They brought us back something cool to open. So while they are talking about their trip, Brandon and I are going to be opening some cards and hopefully get maybe some sketches for ourselves. Uh, we have a couple packs of Rick and Morty trading cards here and a Masterworks Star Wars 2017 uh, unopened boxes, which are kind of cool to find. He found those in a, I don't know, what, what shop did you find those in? Uh, that was in Vans. Okay. Vans, uh, comics and cards. He had cool. just tons of old boxes, boxes of cards, of cards and, and, and other stuff. And we found yeah. some other cool stuff and maybe we can talk about that later. Or maybe, yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe later. Maybe, maybe some of our cave dwellers will receive some of them. Ooh. I mean, that's really what I bought them for. Right, right. Yeah. Just stuffing some of the loot They're boxes. pretty cool. I saw some of them yesterday, some just different random po uh, boxes of older cards, so vintage cards you may get in your, your loot boxes. So I can't tell everybody all secrets. So, um, But will that be all that being said, I will let them take over, yeah. and you can talk about the beginning of the road trip. Yeah, we, we took off, and, um, you know, first of all, we, we started off going to Oklahoma City. Mm-hmm. And um, we ended up, you know, OMG, a horror anthology, had their <laughs> OMG, a horror anthology had their uh, Kickstarter going, and uh, on the live episode, you know, a few months back, uh, Rob surprised us with a limited uh, Gabe's Cave uh, edition of OMG, and it was the the very first book of it and it is Gabe's Cave edition and so there is a limit of 20 20 copies that's it and so um, we ended up uh, you know having a on the Kickstarter we made a post on Facebook saying hey any of our uh, cave dwellers out there that wanted to um, uh, help donate uh, help help with the, uh, the Kickstarter that uh, the first two that actually donated two hundred dollars and responded back on on our social media, uh, that we would send them a a copy of, and we're going to show it a little bit more. But OMG's, we're going to sit right here for a second. OMG, uh, a horror anthology. This is Gabe's Cave variant. Uh, it's by. Uh, quarantine press and like I said there was only 20 copies of them we sent off 10 to be graded and out of the 10 there were eight that came back 9.8s and so we decided to give um, the two people we ended up uh, meeting up with Daniel Daly Daniel Daly uh, is out of Oklahoma City a guy that I met on one of our Facebook groups mm -hmm. and we've become friends Got to meet him several times when I was working over in Oklahoma. And anyway, he's a great guy. He donated $200. And uh, 
The other one was Matt DeHart, which we've already mailed off his. He should be receiving it probably. Matt is a frequent to the show. Yeah. We, we know you, Matt. Yeah. So it was, uh, it was great. I uh, wish we'd get to meet Matt one day. I know we probably will one day. I'm sure at some point. We'll um, but uh, anyway, he was he was one of the winners. Uh, uh, he's one of the ones that, one of the two, the first two that donated. Anyway, so it was pretty cool. So let's just kind of show it right there. Let's show, you got a second where we can show it right, just hold it right there for a second. That's, we're pretty proud of that, man. That's the first, that's the first uh, uh, episode, you know, Gabe's Cave variant of OMG, a horror anthology. Really excited about it. Anyway, with only, you think about, there's only eight of them that are 9.8s right now that, that we know of. Um, you know, we signed about 10 of them, mm -hmm. and we're actually, uh, you know, one day at a, at a show, we're going to maybe send some of them off to be graded, I'm sure, but we'll go from there. So, Gabe, let's talk about, what is that? Oh, <laughs> got a card that says indecent exposure. <laughs> so let's talk about. I got uh, nothing interesting. Let's talk about our no, the, no, no. the first shop that we that we went to. It's north of Oklahoma City. Um, we didn't get a chance to stop at the uh, the shops that we normally shop at in Oklahoma City, but we did. Sh there is one north of Oklahoma City that's pretty well known. It's it's called um, Hall of Heroes. And uh, Dave Gwynn is the owner of that store. You know, he's been in that shop for 25 years. And, you know, his, his shop, he, went, he messaged us and said, man, uh, I'd love for y'all to come by, but don't because, my, you know, half my stuff's moved over to um, another store. Yeah, he's got a brand new store that he's mm -hmm. opening up, you know. and so, Is he moving or just opening a second shop? No, no, no. He's moving just right around the corner. Gotcha. He bought a new building that's bigger. Where he could, where he could host everything. He's got, matter of fact, he's got. It's a big downstairs, and he has an upstairs where he's looking at maybe putting in where all of his card games and all that stuff's cool, going like, to be like magic. Or, yeah, okay, yeah. So like yeah. he's got to have a magic yeah. tournaments and stuff like that that they play. But uh, Dave Gwynn has a, you know. has always had a phenomenal shop. I'm, I'm um, jealous. I actually want to. I want to go to the shop, and it's it's where's it at now? It's in it's in um, Ponca City, Oklahoma. I mean, it's about an hour and a half north. If you live in Oklahoma Wichita, City, worth going to it. It is worth going to, no doubt. I mean, when he gets right, right, now, moves, right now, I wouldn't say go because it's definitely, it's definitely, you know, split between two places. But, I mean, seriously. Right now. Huh? He has no action figures. He has no, figures no, he has no figures or nothing like that. But, but it's, he's it's, still got a lot of comics still well, tell, in there. Tell him about the shop because it's, it's what it is. I, I, mean, I, mean, there, I mean, he had a, he had. He no, had, no well, you, it, he was the one that had the, the shop that survived the. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Know, he he had the shop that survived. I mean, we're talking about in a small town. This town's probably, and this is what's amazing about it. He's been in this shop for twenty five years, and, and you know it survived the you know the the nineties when everybody all the shops were closing up. I mean, he continued to buy and continued to buy, and he's I mean he's just been there ever since. Back when the back when the uh, the comics. Kind of crashed in when the we 90s. closed our shop. Yeah, he, the, yeah we the closed our shop crashed in the nineties because it all just kind of went downhill and the cards and everything. And he stayed. He stayed in business, and he has a ton of comics and, and a toys. Ton. And I mean, the first time I went there was was a, a year ago, and uh, we I went in and I was looking for I was looking for some um, just stuff, you know, random saying, just, stuff. random stuff, stuff. and. and down underneath one of his display, I mean, I'm talking about underneath his display cabinets, dusty. Mm -hmm. He had like six original um, Masters, you know, He-Man, Masters oh, yeah, of the Universe yeah, yeah. figures in the original packs. I mean, they were great. I ended up getting those and some other things for for one of our, our friends, uh, Trinity Hendrix. Anyway, so that's where it came from, Trinity, if you, if you remember that. Uh, but what was what, what did you think about 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 the store? I mean, you bought some I stuff was, there. It was cool. I it was, think the uh, it was very interactive. I'm jealous. He, he I want to go. I really do. You know, we was going to say this at the very end, but we'll go ahead and say it now since we're on 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 Hall of Heroes. Dave. Dave is a, you know, when when you when you talk to comic shop owners, 
and and most everybody knows this and, and nothing nothing against them you know i was a comic shop owner one time you know and what did i do i started out with my collection mm -hmm. and you know you sell your collection when you sell your collection you buy back and you think you know and then it just becomes really about the money you know what i mean and and dave was i mean he's you've seen the passion he had so much passion so has his passion. i mean the shop was in shimbles and there's probably 20 people showed up while we were there i mean it's just always like it's always slam packed maybe the only thing to do in that store but in the store in the town in the town yeah. sorry in the town and there's a few people that are like see you next week see you next week i mean it's like it's like there, and, and it wasn't on um i mean it wasn't on your 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 wednesday i think we went on thursday i don't remember what day we went on but whatever it was yeah we're talking about somebody who's passionate about the business. This is his life. He loves his customers. I mean, I've I seen so much in him compared to everybody who came in. They talked to him. They knew him. He knew them. You know, and it was like, it was like your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Comic book guy. Comic book guy. Seriously. I mean, it was really, and out of all the shops that we went to, don't get me wrong, there were some professional shops. There wasn't some. But when I'm saying as a shop owner, it was he's he's a great person to go to. So he would give you that that personal experience that's no kind of lost on a lot of shops. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Our second one we went to was up in Wichita. I've been there before. Um, Prairie Dog Comics. Uh, I don't know the owner's name, um, but Dave, tell us a little bit about Prairie Dog Comics. In Wichita, you know what you've seen there that you liked, and you bought you bought a few things, but there was something that you really wanted. Some be dial up noises coming out oh. of your brain right now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Come on. I forgot the name of that. Speak. Which one it was? Uh, yeah, there was um, Planet of the Symbiotes action figures from 1992. They were toy biz. Wait, wait, wait. what? Um, Oh yeah, like symbiotes, like yeah. from the. Um, isn't that what caused the symbiotes in the first? Uh, sketch the card, Kanan sketch card. <laughs> what? Who's that? Up? <clears throat> Cannon Kanan jars. Cannon jars. Oh, the Ooh, blind nice. Jedi. I don't know, or something. We will have to look. I have these. Why, why don't we do this? Why don't we show our viewers? Because our viewers are a bunch of artists. Who is this person right here? Can, uh, you, can anybody tell us? Maybe it's somebody that watches our... I, I yeah. certainly can tell us after the show, but I'll let you guys guess on that one. I don't know. That's cool. Very That's nice inked, inked sketch there. Mm -hmm. So, this shop was... It had, it had a lot of, a lot wait, of action wait, 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 figures. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. What are you talking about? The, the, the... Yeah. So, Planet of the Symbiotes, the comic line? Uh-huh. They had action figures. Okay. Toy Biz made action figures in, I think, 19... Did you buy them? No, no, because Dad was like, well, "They're not worth that much." They were, they were, they're worth like sixty bucks online, a piece. And this, they wanted like they were out of the package. Oh, they weren't in the box. No, they weren't oh, in the box. There were three of them online. They're still worth like forty. They are. Something. They are. And for three no, of them, no. they were going to sell them to us for seventy-five bucks four. or less. There were three. I thought. No, it was. It was. It was because they were missing one. I thought they. I thought it was five, and they, oh, they, they had four. Yeah, they had it was five for seventy-five. Okay. It was five of them oh. for seventy-five. But it was cool. And they yeah. only had four of them. Still cool though, because it's your favorite line of stuff. So right. Yeah, maybe we can find and, it somewhere else. So we have a kid. Yeah, probably. Uh, I got a deal an authentic online. autograph of Ben Daniels as General Merrick, Who? which I believe is in Rogue One. Yeah. General Merrick is yep. the guy who's like, I don't know. Yeah, that is Rogue One. He's like, I don't yes. care. We're gonna blow him up anyways. Yeah. Since the you show it X-wing uh, squadron to blow up Galen Erso at the depot. That's right. So that's Prairie Dog Comics. We left there and we went on to, to Denver. Oh, and got there late that night. I got a hit too. <coughs> <laughs> that is, wow! Look at that. Whoa, double that hit. That. Nice. Double hit. Wow. Same card. All right. Oh, well, there you go. Anyway, his, his looks better. <laughs> Well, they're not numbered. No, the signature actually is better. Anyway, so we left there. We went to Denver. And the uh, next day, we ended up going straight to Mile High Comics, yep. the largest comics shop in the uh, 
in the world. We're at Maha Comics. I'm with yours truly, Gabe Rawson. Hey. First, first time here. This place looks enormous. And let's go for a, a tour. Here we go. Big old banners. Amazing. And uh, it's owned by Chuck uh, Rosensky. And um, he wasn't there that day. And we had an inside, you know, I was wanting to talk to him uh, a little bit, you know, Tone Rodriguez is, is friends with, with Chuck, and anyway, I was hoping to, to meet Chuck, he wasn't there, uh, ended up, you know, what a store, it's, it's huge. It's I in mean, a warehouse. It's in a warehouse, the, 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 how can you say, you know, it, it's so big that you can't even i mean you can't even the sad part is is uh, there is a sad part to it i mean this is it's big you can't go to all of it no it's only it's only you the know store is only a third a, you only get to see a quarter of the store the rest of the stores blocked off where employees only get to go back to where they have just massive racks just full of backstop comics and stuff like that and so you know you have to go up to the counter and you got to ask you know, that was probably the, the frustrating thing because, you know, I, I got there, he wanted me to make give him a list so he can go back there and, and find them. But um, sure enough, the three three books that I was looking for, and, you know, I, I had so much hope that they would have them, you know, because they've got everything, man. I mean, they got every every freaking comic you can think of, except those three. <laughs> they did what, not have What was a, it that you were looking for? I, I was looking for a Warriors number one, uh, which is the first appearance of V for Vendetta. I'm looking Wait, for Wait, Warriors that. like... Um, it's it's a UK. Yeah. I know, yeah, I know what it is. I, yeah, Alan I know what it is. I've been, I've been looking for that for you yeah. for a long time. Yeah. We, we we looked we found it online one time, but I know what you're talking we about. We did, yeah. we did. Uh, so I've been looking for a good copy of it, and the other one, the other two was really nothing. There, one of them was Beetlejuice number one for okay. Mom, and then there's a Commando one shot, you know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Commando, oh, wow. Commando and it says Schwarzenegger. They? they did, and so that's we like unique things. Mm -hmm. That's how we do. And so yeah, there's a song for everything. That's right. So there's a comic for everything. But that's really what, what I look for in a game. He mopped up. Yeah. <laughs> I found all the action figures I needed for that story. And there was a cat in there, too. So if you like cats, isn't that was the one the, with the cat, right? The, the, cat, the cat was the, the, the nicest, the nicest employee. employee. Not going to lie. The cat but was the nicest employee. Still wouldn't let me pet him. But he let mom. <laughs> you know, mom, she's a cat person. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, Mile High Comics, if you've never been there, it is it is an experience you definitely need to go. Um, check it out. You know, I did not have a list prepared. You know, I was thinking I was going to get to go and, and dig just comics. look. That's you know what, what you mean? like to do anyways. You like to go and, and just yeah. for hours. two yeah. hours, just dig through boxes of old comics and just see well, what he wants. And, and I'm not one of these ones that I'm not going to go look in the dollar boxes. I don't want to look in the dollar boxes right. because there's been so many people. I want to look through the good stuff. When I go to mm -hmm. a comic shop, I go up to the people and I say, look, where's your good stuff? You need an official badge. Like, I'm well, here for the good stuff. I mean, I don't click I've dollar stuff. Mama, I've got a got four stuff. of ten autograph card. What? Let me see. Four of ten. Let four of ten. Numbered four out of ten, and it's made of the metal plating around okay. it. Wow. Who is that? That's the dude from uh, Rogue One, right? He's the on gunner? there. He's the gunner. Yeah. He's like, just, yeah. He's the one that has the when he's screaming, just wow. massive mouth. He's just ah. that's neat, ain't it? I've never seen him. Yet, I've so. never seen one with the metal plating. That's that's Powell is his name. Four of ten. That's four. It is. Yeah. That's four a good one. Ten. All right. So let's go to our next one, Gabe. Um, the next one um, was probably uh, you know you think about uh, organized. They they were there that you know they I think the owner was there and then maybe his yeah. wife I'm not positive, but it was Heroes Headquarters. Yeah. 
out of uh, right outside of uh, north, just a little north, a little community outside of uh, Denver, Colorado. Uh, we went there uh, right after we went to uh, Mile High Comics. And this is the store that's connected with uh, the YouTube channel, Lee, uh, Lee Kirby, Dick, uh, Dick Kirby Ditko. Yeah, Lee Kirby Ditko comic, their YouTube channel. I'm going to say that they're either the owner, owner's son, or something of this YouTube channel. I don't know the logistics of it. I didn't get, I didn't get in that with the person. One thing we did do is we did actually, you know, we made videos, and I'm sorry, we made videos of, of Hall of, of, of Mile High Comics. We made, we made some B-roll footage of uh, Heroes Headquarters. They let us do that. They had, they had probably one of the best action figures stores that we've seen. Who's it that? was which one? Hero Headquarters. Oh, okay. Heroes Headquarters. It was mm -hmm. it was really a nice their display nice, was amazing. Yes. Is that the one you sent me stuff of yes. uh, the Hulk. I mean it's like Yeah, the one where you sent me Star Wars stuff. No, I sent you John Wick and that's right. Godzilla. That's right. So that's right. One last week Derek made you tables, right? <laughs> yeah. And and if everybody well, seen the tables well it's made you a table. While. Sorry, we we video the table. All right, Derek made the table like a long time. Right. Ago, well, I ended up picking up Derek several like five or six. We're gonna let him find out on this video. Packages, right? Uh, <laughs> five or six packs. Of surprise, Derek. Hopefully, you're watching. Micro machines. Yep. So he can build us a table for the show. Last pack. No. Last pack. No. Um, anyway. So, uh, you know, if you ever if you're ever up in the Denver, Colorado, make sure you experience Heroes Headquarters. It is it is definitely a phenomenal comic shop. We ended up we ended up what did we end up getting? We ended up buying uh, Beta Ray Bill. Yeah. First appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Oh, you did. That's right. Yeah. That was Thor three seventy seven. Sounds right. Three seventy seven. Yeah. Three seventy one. I don't remember. I think it's three seventy seven. It's three seventy something. I have it. Let's see. While well, he's looking, while well, he's looking, that's what you do. Three thirty-seven. Three thirty-seven. I got a sketch card. What's wrong? Um, it looks like Luke. I don't really know. Let's see. Actually, but I don't. That's Luke. It definitely looks like Luke. I don't know who's in the background. Um, I don't know who did this one. This is uh, like I said, Star Wars masterwork. How are you gonna sign for BB-8? Twenty seventeen. Because he's like the puppeteer, the guy who does the oh. thing. So there's Luke, I believe. I will look into it later. You got that? Okay, let's see if we can see the back of it. Maybe somebody can tell us who this is. I can for sure later. I've got the all the artists. It's okay. a great signature. I've, I've got the, uh, okay, the gotcha. index. Okay, gotcha. Artists, all right. Which is constantly updated. Yeah, and speaking of this, uh, the BB-8, Brian Herring, I've actually pulled like six of these myself, so... This is not a uncommon. Yeah, they love the soccer ball bullies. Which is kind of, it's still cool though, man. BB-8, so. All right, so Heroes Headquarters. Next, we went to, um, <laughs> it's funny. You're going to laugh about this. It's called All Seas Collectibles. And it's a, it was a big shop, too. Cards, collectibles, and comics? No, it's like a pawn shop. It was a pawn shop. It's not like it no, was. No, it was, it's not. It's yes. not a. It's not the a pawn shop. A pawn shop. It's not. They buy gold and silver, and, and when we got there, somebody would walk in. It's a pawn shop. <laughs> they had <laughs> old war relics. A yes. Pawn shop. They yeah. had a fifteen hundreds galleon Spanish galleon deck nail. Did you and, buy it? No. No. But I they did have a lot of war re I was, relics. It was really cool. I mean, I was thinking about but they had supplies. They had, you know, they had comics. They had bunch, Misty. Misty, she bought, that's where she bought like a ton of of um, aliens and predators back yeah. issues that she, she likes. They had a Just bunch of those. Stack. Um, we bought some packs of cards, some, uh, you know, individual packs. And, and that's where I bought your... Um, your Shazam pen. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember everything about it, but they had a lot of stuff. Um, they had some officer swords I liked. They had what? They had an officer sword that was pretty. Oh yeah, yeah pretty they, still well intact. Like a, a, a yeah. Japanese officer sword from World no, War II. Like uh, maybe a Civil War officer sword. Yeah, it's still cool. 
It was cool. About a Civil War officer. I think. Yeah. All right. So then we had, uh, we left there and we went to, um, when we left there, we actually seen the Holy Grail of cars. Of cars? Oh yeah. We left there and we were headed to, we were headed to another shop and we seen the Holy Grail of cars, didn't we? A Ford Pinto? No. The Holy Grail. A Duesenberg? Huh? A Duesenberg? No. No, no, no. It was the Spider-Mobile. The Spider-Mobile. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what? We're, we're driving down the street, and I don't know what kind of car it was. We were driving down the street, had, yeah. Somebody yeah. had, like, spray-painted it all Spider-Man-themed. So we left to get it. Yeah, had Spider-Man all over it and everything. And, what and, kind and of car was it? I don't remember. Maybe a Taurus or something like that. I don't know. Well, I'm going to one-up you here. If you guys live but outside hey, of... We're going to show it. So we're going to show oh, it. Oh, you took we, pictures of it. I got pictures Oh, yeah. cool. And cool. we left a card in their window. Awesome. Yeah. So well, let me say this. If you own this car, and, and we're going to show a picture of it right here. If you own this car, give us a call. Please give us a call. I left my, I left my business card there. Underneath so, the windshield wiper. Underneath the windshield wiper. Wow. We turned around as, as I was driving down the road. <laughs> Yes, one pack. One pack. Yo, don't, Dad don't yells, know how much they Spider -Man cost. Spider-Man car. Well, I, I opened one the other day. I don't remember what year it was from. It wasn't 2017. The box was black. Anyway. These are cool. They're like it's a cool car. Cards. We thought it was cool. It's definitely, we said this is one of, this is our people right here. So if, 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 you, if you own this car, definitely, the Spider -Man definitely car. make sure you comment back and let us know. Well, the uh, Spider-Mobile. I know where the actual Spider-Mobile is. If you live outside of Kenora, if you live in Kenora, Canada, there's a junkyard outside of Kenora, Canada that has a Volkswagen Beetle up on poles and it literally looks like a spider. That is correct. Yes. We left like the Garden of Eden or the gar Garden of uh, the Garden gods. of the Gods. Which you didn't say about you didn't talk about that either. So what is that? So the Garden of the Gods is is um, Just rock formations. Area. Yeah, it's rock formations up in the up in, in the mountains. Yeah, up in the mountains of Colorado Springs. And right next to that is Pikes Peak. Which is, you know, racing. Racing. Give it a Google, you'll be, and, and you'll be entertained. But the garden of uh, the garden of the gods was beautiful, wasn't it? Yes. It was actually amazing to just see the, all the rock formations and things like that, and uh, you know, it's just a big drive-through park. I mean, you can hike, and you, there was, I bet there was, a hundred thousand people there. Oh wow! I swear, it wasn't, there was a ton of people. Wow. It's crazy. Which is kind of sad because. The amount of cars going through there will deteriorate the environment there. So there's a ton of cars there. Future electric car. I mean, it's a place to hike. Future electric car. It's a place to hike. You're not supposed <laughs> to be in cars. The amount of cars there. Okay. All right. So we left there. Went to CK uh, Collectible. Uh, CK Comics. What about the Sasquatch Sound Company? Oh, well, we already said that. We went there. Well, what was it, though? It was, it was a science. sign company. It, it was literally They made signs. signs. Like, just signs? Just Sasquatch signs. signs. <laughs> it was literally just joke signs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got you. I got a bunch, you. Of, right, a bunch of Sasquatch uh, signs. It was in um, Manitoua, Colorado. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because okay. we were actually going to CK Comics. Oh, okay. I got you. And Collectibles. Um, and we seen Sasquatch signs, so we said we had to talk about it because, you know, we got Sasquatch. I'm Sasquatch. Yeah. So anyway, uh, CK uh, Comics yeah, and Collectibles, we didn't really get to talk to the guy much. Um, he didn't talk much, and he wasn't the owner. And anyway, so it was, yeah. Anything cool we, in there? It was small. It was small. You got to understand, Manitou is a, um, is a touristy little town. Mm. And so... It's a turret trap. <laughs> tourist trap. <laughs> Well, if you're looking to go to, and, and you said that was by the, the, the Garden of the Gods? Oh, yeah. yeah so go cool. see the Garden of the Gods, take a picture of the Sasquatch sign company, and then go to uh, CK Comics. Maybe they have something for you. Absolutely. There was also a wizard store. Yes, there was. My, yeah. Yep. Yes. It had a wizard on the side of the store. Yeah. What was it called? Um, I don't remember. I just apothecary shop or something like that. Something. Wizard shop. Mom told me about it. They had wands and weird crap. We could have got Harry Potter. You're a wizard, Harry. We could have got Harry Potter. Yeah, we, we're supposed to be giving away Harry Potter at some point. Yeah, yeah. but you guys got to finish your, your story. Yeah, you're right. right no, we, we, we can ramble. So we went to uh, <laughs> went to we after that we went to what we what we consider the 
nicest the nicest store we've ever seen. As in clean. like clean, organized. Well, as, how are we uh, talking here? Like when when, I, when they you, had woodwork. When, when you walk into this store, you think it is the sports bar for nerds. So okay. I mean, they it's like had, walking in a Lamborghini they, dealership. But, yeah, but, but, but you're right. I cards mean, and comics. Everything was, all their shelves were custom made. Their tables were custom made. Wow. I mean, solid, solid wood cabinets. They had, oh, you know, God. the ladder that's in libraries where they, where they, yeah, they run roll it. back and forth. I, I mean, mean, their tables were round tables with iron, like, wow. <laughs> what is this place called? The Iron Lion. The Iron, the Iron, Iron Lion. Lion. Where was that? Their, 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 their drawers, look at where they had their, all their back stock. Mm -hmm. All their back stock was, you know, most people have their back stock in, in boxes sitting mm -hmm. on a table. Not them. All theirs were pull out these really nice custom drawers with with, with like marble and with a, DC. With a, like a metal plaque metal, that said what it was. Yeah. So if anything, you guys, just go check out the Iron Line just to see the craftsmanship and buy something from them to keep them open because we, apparently we, it's... We wrote, we have... Awesome. Check out, the, check out the video that we have. We have a video here uh, of it. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's... You're talking about statues... Uh, Man, they had really nice books. Their display cases were amazing. Their display, and not only talk, not only that, they had they had like six employees in there. The owners wasn't there. The owners, I don't know who the owners was, but all I can say is you have an amazing, amazing, amazing store. The they had like six employees, five or six employees, and each one of them were like there. There was a comic expert. Really, they had. Two gaming experts. They had one card expert. Gaming, as in like, like video games or magic, like magic, magic, oh, cool, yeah. and Pokemon, all them. The, the gaming cards, and then they had a, you know they had a guy over in the back that does all their internet sales. Wow. I mean, it looked like it looked like you you walk up to a a, a bar and that's where the that's where the uh, deal was the uh, where they checked you out and everything. And then they had display cases with all their. Mm -hmm. Gaming cards, and then one side of the store, which was really cool, where they had like big tables to where they had their played their tournaments and stuff like oh, that. Oh, like Magic, and they do, do, do but it's like not that. on a it's not on like a, a regular you know you see a little fold out, out table. table. Yeah. Oh no, no, they had no. The custom made tables. custom made. Did tables. they do like Dungeons and Dragons? And um, I'm sure I didn't get into all Warhammer that. and other stuff like that. <clears throat> but they also had on the side what was really impressive. You know when you go to like a a sports bar or whatever you got a you got a counter against the window or whatever and then you got just rows of uh bar stools bar stools mm -hmm. well people can take their their comics. comics each week you know what i'm saying and get up on that bar stool and just and sit there and look at them. Yeah. i mean it's cool. just it was just an amazing place it's a cool Let, hangout when they even had a guy from arkansas yeah one of the guys from arkansas actually wow. worked cool. there so wow. um talked to him he said matter of fact up towards uh fayetteville area he used to play el Dorado in football cool we had a awesome one there. They had nice couches that you could sit on. It was just when you walked in, it looked like a luxury, luxury call, like commentary. a high end experience. A high end experience. They may not have that to me, enjoy your time there. That to me, I'll go ahead and tell you, we that was our last one that we stopped at before we got to you know back to our final. Our final one was um, it's Excalibur. In Texas County. Oh yeah, we go that, there all that, the time. that is that is it's funny because that is our local comic shop. Two hours away. Two hours away. Oh, yeah, that's, that's but that's one. where we always that go. One in, uh, the one in um, Sherwood. Sherwood, yeah. Yeah, and it's two hours away too. Kapow Comics or um, Excalibur Comics is where we normally buy our mm -hmm. comic books at. And, and like I said, they're a couple hours away. But Dell and Chase have always been there. They've been there for Lord knows how long, many years, and uh, you know owners in it and and both of them you know are, are well they just know you by name you mm -hmm. know what i mean when you walk in but uh excalibur is you know they've redone their store since and, when did they oh redo? yeah well probably during covid you know okay they haven't been there a good while so. and so uh you know Ma, misty mom and and gabe said that everything was really nice to organize which it's always been organized did you go in me. there well. I, oh yeah, okay. no there were, They didn't have as many sections of of the comics. They didn't have as many like. Titles. They didn't have it. They didn't have it sectioned <laughs> off as much. Well, I didn't go to this one with them, but I have been in there before. And if you are local to the area, they do have like uh, comics and and like sideshow collectibles and old uh, action figures like GI Joe and. Uh, they also have a shop. They also have, they have two shops. They, they have, have one in Shreveport, yeah. Louisiana, and they have one in Texarkana. 
Yeah. And it's, they're, they're all owned by the same family. Right, and they're, 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 they're fairly similar. The one in Shreveport has more books and comics, I believe. Yes, they do. Um, and it's a bigger in, store. It's a bigger store in like books and stuff, but the one in Texarkana has more of the collectibles and action figures. And they usually there. rotate their wall books out. And so usually every time you go in there, every time you go in there, there's different wall books. Mm -hmm. Right. And if I walk in there and ask them, can I look at your stash? They let me. In the back? <laughs> Whatever, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, they let me look at their you stash. You do buy enough from them. Well, I mean, I do like to buy. Yeah. We're collectors. Yeah. All right. So with that being said, let's talk about what we're going to next. Well, that was their their awesome trip uh, around the, the world yeah. in like five days, not 80. It was a lot of fun. We got to see a lot of different. America is the world. You know, I'll tell you this. One thing that we got out of it, because, you know, We've talked about maybe opening up a store one day, you know. I, I don't know how you could say it. I don't want it to sound bad, but a lot of a lot of comic shop owners that we ran into and, and people that we ran into just wasn't, you know, we see Dave. Dave was was just a spirit of light. You know what I mean? He, he loved he loved being around the comics. I mean, that's that was his life. I don't even know if he's married. I just know comics has been his life mm -hmm. and so it was great it was a, a you know to to start off with him because it really made the trip go really well because mm -hmm. you know i i know from being a, a a previous owner of a shop you know with my own collection you know you want to be you, you want to start off and do this stuff there but eventually what happens is, is like i said earlier you know you you lose the interest and it's more about making money and so I think a lot of the shop owners are that way. I think I think it's not like, you, you know, the the passion. Mm -hmm. It's really a job. Right. And and to to Dave, it's it's his life. And I thought that was amazing to see that. You know, you see sometimes you never even see the comic shop owners. They got somebody else working there. Yeah. And and I just think that with what we've seen and and, and realizing that. You know, I don't know if I want a shop. I don't want to lose the passion that I have. I love comics and, and, and stuff like that. I don't know if I want to turn it into a, a job. Mm -hmm. I want to have fun. It's like a, a comic shop. What's the one in St. Louis we like to go to? I cannot remember that name of the shop. Downtown there. St. Louis? I think it's St. Louis. Yeah, I know it is. I believe it is. See downtown there, it's got the the long, it's like long and you go down in the back. I cannot remember the name of it. The owner's always up there in the front. It's in Memphis. Is that in Memphis? Yeah, Memphis. 901 sorry. Comics. 901 Comics. It's Memphis. Yeah, that's one of our favorite ones. Yeah. Shane, Shane's yeah, one of the so owners. He's a really, there. really good guy there, too. Oh, I yeah. I cannot think of the name of that shop. 901 Comics. It's Midtown. 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 Memphis. That's right, that's right. Midtown. On the way to, on the way to San In Rose. Memphis. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> My bad. Uh, uh, that's a really that's another as you can one. see we travel around a lot yeah. to different yeah. comic shops. All but that's over. another one that's really good. If you're in Memphis or, or local to the area, go hit them up because they always have uh, uh, a bunch of really they good comics. They have good, as well. good, good, good selection. Good. They're always up. What, is it Wednesdays that the new comics drop? And yeah, they're yeah. always he's always up to date and he's always in there, really friendly to talk to as well. Absolutely. Um, just kind of off the off subject there, not really, yeah. but uh, talking about comic book owner, or shop owners, so. So, um, I know what the people are waiting for. Yeah. Yeah, they want some cards and some stuff. So, I think it's time to give some stuff away. We got a lot of stuff to give away we, today. Yeah, we really do. Matter of fact, we have two. Uh, oh, here they are. Who is it? Ashley Harp? We got to give away Ashley Harp. We got to give Ashley Harp's away first, right? Which was. Last week we did on uh, the table show. Right. Yeah. Um, so these are the Ashley Hart's cards we're going to going to give away. We're going to do the three and then the the Cave Dweller loot box. Um, you want to start off with the first winner? Or won't you find us a winner first? We gotta find the winners. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Well, let's find us a winner.
May the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> now tell them the first winner. <laughs> it's this guy. This one? Yeah. Number two, Gabe. Number three. And who's the loot box? All right. So now we have the four winners. Congratulations to one, two, three, and loot box winner. And now we have a public service announcement for you today. Straighten these for me, Gabe. I don't want those. We went to a card show last weekend in Dallas. We met a lot of folks there, and we had some people sign up, or uh, subscribe, and leave a comment stating that they met us there. That is right. And we have a loot box contest for those people that subscribed and left a comment, so. Correct. Indeed. So this is the part where we give away said loot box from last weekend. Is it really? It is, find us a winner. Nice. Congratulations to Michael Ramirez. You are the winner for the loot box. So make sure you send us an email stating that you've won so we can get it on out to you. Good and job. Back to the regular show. And now we have to go to next or our, our this week's um, artist spotlight, which is Fred Thomas from the UK. Oh, Fred. Fred Thomas. Oh, here, you can get a dose. I don't know them all. So that's Jake and Finn from Adventure Time. Finn the dog and Jake the human. Sure, we got a Venom. Well, everybody knows that one. That is uh, Invader Zed. Invader Zed. That is Invader Zim. 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 That's the old Transformer. That's former Transformer for sure. Yes. That's Caesar from uh, Planet of the Apes. You know, somebody asked me the other day if, if anybody done any Planet of the Apes cards. Fred did. Right here. Yeah, Fred did. There you go. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they win. The Lizard. Uh, Wonder Woman. Looks Wonder like. Woman. Wasn't that like the Lizard thing from uh, DC? No, it's Spider-Man. No, Spider-Man? Spider-Man. Spider Isn't there a Lizard thing from... Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman? Okay. So. We, I don't know. We don't know what this one is. That, that, I think it looks like the key from Goonies. But I think I, it's the key from Goonies. Oh, that's right. It is. I try to tell you all that when yeah, I first I got them. That's it. That's, that's the key from Goonies. Goonies. And then, of course, let from the movie Legend, that is Tim Curry. That's definitely my favorite. Which one's your favorite, Yay. I like the key from Goonies. And I was fixing to say, I gotta go with, I gotta go with, I don't know. I gotta go with the Lizard. I'm gonna do Caesar from... From Planet of the Apes. It's my choice. And Chris. Oh, he in the back. He was. You know what his favorite would be? Yes. Venom. Venom. Yeah, Venom. Venom. Sure, that's what I was going to say. It'll be Venom or. Yeah, because you'll float too. That's right. That's why you shirt had on today, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Some people don't float. Well, uh, make sure you leave a comment stating which one you want to win. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications so you know when we upload a video, and uh, make sure if you win one of these or win one of the other ones, you send us an email so we don't have to hunt you down, and you can actually get the card that you want to get, and we don't have to give it away to second place, third place, and or fourth place. Um, if you like the video, let us know. If you know any other cool comic shops around the world, let us know. And there's once some again, in New York. There's some in New York. Yeah, there's we, some in New York. Midtown New York. Comics. Yeah, yeah we're def right. I'm so definitely going to get to go there once. Yeah, we'll go there sometime. Sooner or later. So, well, we got to let them tell us. Well, they can tell us, yeah. yeah. Where, where should we go? Where should we go? Com our comic shops. And if, and you know, if it's one now. of your local ones, come come, come see us. Um, you guys have anything else to say about your trip or anything? Thank our sponsors. No. Yeah, well, yeah. Thank you for the, the you got to thank the sponsor, and that's uh, RPG again rpghiring.com and uh, if you live in Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Tennessee, Arkansas and you're interested in a new career full-time or part-time be sure to check check them out rpghiring.com <laughs> um, that's it that's all I have Gabe 
thanks for uh, thanks for checking us out today, and like and we'll subscribe. see you. We'll see you next time. Bye.